Hi, you all, and welcome to CHD 100, Introduction to Early Care and Education of Young Children. Um, my name is Tracy Murph, and of course, I'm going to be your instructor for this course. So this is going to be our video for Chapter 1, which is entitled, You Working with Young Children. So, you might be asking yourself, what is early childhood education? Early childhood is the period from birth up to nine years of age. So think about birth to third grade. Development in the cognitive, physical, social, and emotional areas are critical in the early years. Research shows time and time again that building a strong foundation in the early years is linked to learning, achievement, and well-being throughout life. So now that you're on your way to a career in early childhood, you probably have quite a few questions. Is there a need for trained individuals and personnel? What are the job responsibilities? And what per personal characteristics are needed? So join me, Ms. Murph, as we learn all about you and working with young children. So, in chapter one, we're going to talk about the ob objective one, which is summarize how societal and economic changes in society continue to create the need for early childhood services. So social and e economic changes in our society impact career opportunities in early childhood education. These societal changes include our growing cultural diversity, changes in family, changes in employer attitudes, changes in education attitudes, educational studies, as well as the benefits to the economy. Early childhood advocates work to expand the availability of high quality early childhood programs. So let's watch the trailer to No Small Matter uh, and find out more. No Small Matter is a documentary and national engagement campaign that brings publicity and, and public attention to this vital question by sharing powerful stories and stunning truths about the human capacity for early intelligence and the potential for early care and the education to benefit America's societal and social and emotional economic future. So let's watch this trailer. So we just saw the 
trailer for no small matter. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. What can make it stop? Just make that stop. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, we will, No Small Matter is a remarkable film about early childhood education in America and our future as a nation. So later on in the semester, we'll be watching the entire film to start a dialogue about how each of us as individuals can play a part in ensuring a promising future for all. Take a moment and think about the careers that relate to early childhood education. Many of you probably thought about careers where adults work directly with children on a daily basis, like a family child care provider, teachers of daycare and child care centers, early childhood program directors, pre-K or kindergarten or primary grade elementary school teachers, maybe after school program caregivers, or even nannies or all pairs. You might have also included jobs that work in the early childhood industry, but not necessarily in a school or a center. These could include a licensing specialist, early, child, early childhood educators like me, resource or referral specialists, consultants, or professional development trainers. What about other areas like businesses that make toys and children's clothes and community services like recreation directors, children's librarians, or children specific health care, like within the pediatric doctors or nurses or dentists. Entertainment is another avenue of career opportunity, like musicians, authors and illustrators, artists, directors for television shows that are for children. So the list can just go on and on and on. The majority of career opportunities in early childhood education are teachers and teacher assistants in a variety of settings. Challenging and rewarding are two words that can best describe the responsibilities of an early childhood teacher. Teachers must understand the principles of child growth and development. They develop curriculum and create classroom environments that meet children's developmental needs. They need communication, teamwork, and time management skills. Joining professional organizations, continuing your education, and following ethical principles are also important. Working with young children requires a special kind of person. As an early childhood teacher, you will need to build on your own strengths and develop your own style. While each teacher has a different style, many successful teachers have common characteristics. First and foremost, you need to have a passion for children. Showing your affection to each child while being kind, firm, and understanding affect how, how they feel about themselves and how they treat others. Patience allows children time to explore, solve problems, and create, which help children grow and learn while building their self-esteem. Compassion allows teachers to accept others without prejudice or bias. Confidence helps you relax in your classroom and allows you to make more sensible decisions. Seeing humor in situations can help you cope with some of the daily stresses of teaching. Of course, you must be careful to laugh with and not at children. Commitment. The demands of this job require serious commitment. You will be expected to be an expert in child development, child guidance, curriculum, the list goes on and on. Personal desire to work with children. Only you can decide if you really want to teach young children and it takes careful examining of your own interests, feelings, and satisfactions. Teaching young children is demanding, physically and mentally. Meeting the demands requires self-care to keep you healthy and to meet the challenges of your job. So let's take a second just to review what we've learned. 
Many social and, e and economic changes are creating new opportunities in childcare and early childhood education. The demand for quality programs is high and growing. Most career opportunities in early childhood are teachers or teacher's assistants. Your responsibilities as an early childhood teacher will be complex and demanding. A successful teacher develops a style that works well for them. However, most successful teachers have many traits in common. Well, that's going to wrap us up for this episode. You can learn more about this topic by reviewing the resources posted in your course. As always, if you have any questions, please contact me. Thanks for joining me, Ms. Murph, as we learned all about you and working with young children. See you next time.